So I heard you guys like Parasite Eve, huh? It's a right fine enough game, I suppose. Let me move myself. Oh, there we go. Put myself down in the corner there. See, Girls Not Blue and Jaime have already stopped by. Thanks, guys. Good to see you again. We're going to try to finish this game tonight. I don't know what we'll play afterwards if we have time left. I think we might do some Elder Scrolls online or something. Something just uh, kind of chill that we can finish out with. Assuming the stream doesn't get taken down uh, by the, the, the cyber police. But anyway, let's see what we got. Um, we are about to start Chapter 5. Um, in case you missed last week, you can go back and check that out. But this is Parasite Eve. I'm playing it uh, all the way through for the first time ever. I briefly dabbled with it a few uh, years ago. Never got very far with it, so I'm kind of doing a blind-ish playthrough of it um, now. So thanks for joining us on the Monday Night live stream. Uh, we got some stuff to get through, so let's just go ahead and get with it. I think we need to go in here and talk to the chief. There's going to be a small cutscene, and we're going to start Chapter 5 in earnest. The acting chief, because um, the other one has either died or injured last week. Um, you can check that out. There we go. Getting our walkthrough pulled up just in case we get stuck. I don't want another 30 minutes running around the hospital like last week. I noticed in this cutscene how high uh, how high everyone's backside is. Like, look how long their legs are compared to the rest of their body. It's very much like Final Fantasy VIII, but with like Final Fantasy VII style like textures and faces. Day five. And apparently there are some risque cutscenes in here. I will do my best to try to censor those to keep the stream from being... I really doubt anything happens to the stream just because um, there are several playthroughs of this game online already. So there's, it makes no sense as to why it would get taken down now. Anyway, we're supposed to go check out this warehouse, apparently, for the walkthrough. Hey, look, it's not Shiva. R.I.P. and P. Shiva. Even the dog it runs away. Now this is some Resident Evil style music if I've ever heard it. Ooh, that's better in every way, and it has auto heal. Let's take it. There's a lot of like really difficult gearing decisions in this. Um, the gearing system is slightly complicated, so it's nice to get just a clear cut, like this is better than everything you have type thing. Eighty six, come on now.
Hopefully the layout of the later game parts are not as confusing as the earlier, like the hospital area. That one was really tricky because it all looked the same. Ooh, these guys hit hard. And I'm dead. Well, that's great. Thank goodness I had that absolutely safe capsule or whatever you want to call it. Apparently this game is not screwing around anymore. I'm not afraid of any nude boss. I've dealt with worse. Apparently the enemies in this level are worse than anything. I was just getting like three or four shot. Good thing I saved. Uh, yeah, let's try this again. I didn't realize there was going to be a gigantic spike in difficulty here. I looked up the nude boss that you guys were talking about, and there's like no... I don't know. It's it's just kind of like a smoothed over topless woman type situation, kind of like a mermaid or something. I may not be breezing through this part. This looks kind of tough. Apparently this warehouse is an optional area, but we're going to knock it out. Why not? I believe uh, the guy from last week said the, the grenade launcher wasn't very good outside this area, so I think we'll swap back to our rifle that I had updated a lot. Swap for the rifle, put the protector back on. I wonder if we have anything from earlier that we can... Um... Yeah, we need to up our active time. I feel like we're kind of slow. But adding like three extra to it should help. I don't know how noticeable it'll be, but it'll be, but it should help a little. Oh yeah, that ATB is much faster now, yeah. Yeah, too bad we're still getting hit by every single shot. Nice shot though. should be apparently there's a warehouse key in here somewhere let's definitely get that so we're not like wandering around oh boy three
The damage is insane. Yeah, good thing I can just full heal. Oh, whatever. I hate this game so much. At least the X XP here ought to be really good, right? Ninety-three damage a hit. That's like boss level damage. And it tells me I'm supposed to go here first. Could be worse, but I got a domino heart attack in Darkest Dungeon a few days ago. What in the world is a domino heart attack? Is that like when one character has a heart attack and so all the others do from seeing the other character have a heart attack? And so the game just basically on a random roll says you don't get anything? I'm tired of this cutscene, I can tell you that. This is a short dungeon though, so next time we won't go back into that room so we won't get ambushed by the three, um, the three spiders. So where's our BP, active time, dump it all, give me all the active time points. What a shame. He was a good, uh, Aya was a good cop. What a rotten way to die. How you doing, Riven Mike? Good to see you. Oh, it's Wizard two weeks in a row. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Good to see you. Yeah, apparently there's supposed to be like a shiny object over here in the corner you can pick up, but I just saw death. I didn't see any kind of shiny object. Forgot to pick up the chest protector here. Maybe this is the um, the step up in difficulty part of the game, where um, it's kind of like Matador in um, Nocturne. It's, it separates the men from the boys. And all I have is auto heal. Can I take, can I put two auto heals on one piece of equipment? That would be cool, but I doubt it. Yep, that's what you get, Review Fox, and you deserve every bit of it. Riven Mike, can you give us some Titanic facts while I'm uh, dealing with this BS here? I do like the 31 damage a pop. That's very nice. These guys have so much health. Oh no. 129 damage? You gotta be kidding me here. Is it because, um, is the armor the type that we have weak or something against the enemies here? Call me Gale in uh, Digital Devil Saga, I do not comprehend. Yeah, see here's the key we missed from last time. So we definitely want that. Uh, the rat becomes bigger, gets rid of the cat, um, fight it, grab the warehouse key in the bottom right, open the right chest to get the grenade launcher. Okay. I 
I see no chest on the right over here. Unless it's talking about the next room. <laughs> no, we're going to finish the game. I'm not going to flush it. I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining. It keeps me from ranting and raving. Uh, let's see. There should be a... Oh, that's like instant. As soon as I turned, I got the random encounter. <laughs> this wasn't so random after all. Nice. No. The movement pattern of that rat is really tricky. It doesn't help they move like twice as fast as you. Okay, shoot Aya, shoot. No, not the rat. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, like he just jumps out of the way the moment you your ATB charges. I want to recount. This isn't correct. Yeah, that's like instantaneously. As soon as it charges, he jumps out of the way. Of course, I have weapons that hit from longer range. Maybe that's what they're wanting me to do. Either that or use like energy shot or something for the guaranteed damage. Point blank, there we go. This will make this much easier since we don't have to worry about the spider spitting on us. <laughs> as disgusting as that sounds. Fire ga! That attack gets easier to avoid the further away from him you are. Crap. I knew he'd bounce back over here. Yeah. Got him. Okay, that was probably the hardest fight in the entire game thus far. Riven Mike says, The Titanic stayed on an even keel throughout sinking due to coal having been moved to one side of the ship to avoid a coal fire, which balanced out the weight of the water on the starboard side and ironically kept it afloat. This has been Titanic Facts. That is exactly why I keep you around. Okay, thank goodness we finished that. Nonsense. According to this, there should have been a treasure chest in here. But I see nothing of the sort. Maybe it was in the other room. Uh, let's see what happens. Apparently the boss of this area is a legitimate giant enemy crab, so...
A rocket. That's like the only like different ammo type in, I've ever seen in this entire game. So you can have a grenade launcher, a rifle, a machine gun, multiple handguns with varying rates of fire and suppression rates. But the moment you get a rocket launcher, nope, can't use bullets anymore. Got to use actual uh, rockets. Makes perfect sense. See, because I'm a pro gamer, I assume that you could climb up here and get that. <laughs> then my inventory was full. Let's drop the junk. Oh, yes, please. I may put this on the rifle, actually. It is very much like Quest 64, Mike. I, th I thought the same thing. Because of that, the, um, I don't know what you'd call that shape, but that's very reminiscent of Quest 64. There's nothing I could do. I just had to take that hit. Come on, Aya. Come on, Aya. Some of the battle arenas in this are slightly unfair, in my opinion. Okay, he's dead, so we can sneak over here. Like the one where you're fighting Eve on the, the carriage in the park, that was kind of BS, in my opinion. He can't even hit us. I guess that's not, was that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50? Yeah, I mean, that's 50 damage and then some, so that's not bad at all. And you get to fire multiple times, which is nice. until he just jumps across the screen to attack us. Is there even a way to escape the battles in this game or you just have to like grit and bear it? Final Fantasy pun not intended. Oh yeah, some more offense. See, this gun has a big clip, so if we can just like smack a whole bunch of offense on it, maybe it'll be useful at end game. Defense, we'll definitely take that. With our legendary CM protector. Tools. Uh... I don't know if that's a good idea, Aya, but okay. I'm going to get a bonus for jumping over a Parasite Eve rat barrel here in a second. Oh, nice.
Uh, well, that was fun. All right, guys, this has been uh, Let's Play Parasite Eve. Thanks for joining. I'll see you guys next Monday. Have a good night. No, we're going to keep going. Although we didn't do a whole lot of damage with our rifles, so I'm thinking we need to swap guns. Um, I, I would think you would need something high impact to penetrate a crab shell, so maybe we go back to the grenade launcher or something. It doesn't help that we don't get to have any health to begin the fight because of the spider encounter. It's kind of stupid, but... Yeah, it, it legit, it literally was a giant enemy crab. Did that game ever even come out, the giant enemy crab game? So, what was we... So here's this giant enemy crab. You think I'll have to grind? I hope not. I hate grinding. I don't know. Where would the best place to be to go to even grind at? I don't even know. A hundred and forty-one damage. That is out outrageous. From like nothing like oh he shot you with a spider web here's yeah 94 you may be right because this is like insanely le high levels of damage here we'll just go hide Whatever game, whatever. I need that guy from last week that was like the Parasite Eve expert. He would know what to do. The, the guide says that this is an optional area, so it very well could be that you're intended to come back here later. Come on, juke back over here. No, we're not gonna play off stream. We gotta um we gotta do it all on stream for the lulls. There must be something we're missing here. Either that or this has just secretly been a bad game all along, which I don't think is the case. But now we've already saved inside the warehouse, so we're in a bit of a sticky wicket. I guess we could go and grind on the two enemies in the hallway. Yeah, let's see what kind of experience these guys here give. I don't think we're that far off. I think if we got like an extra level or two, I think we'd be in good shape. I need like something in between this weapon and that weapon. Because this is fairly weak. So this is a, let's see, 29, 39. Let's just try the good old M M9 here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so let, let's see what kind of XP these guys. I think maybe a few, just a few extra levels we'll be able to tackle this. I don't think that crab is going to be that hard if we can get to the fight with some actual health. Okay, yeah, see, the key here is this weapon shoots a lot faster, so they can't jump out of the way as quick. So maybe, maybe we're on to something. And it does more damage at close range, too. And then Aya can miss every single shot. Great. This is so bad. Why would you trap me in here? You okay there, game over screen? You're loading a little bit, a little bit slow there. Grab our offense up. Yeah, this gun's got 50, so let's give this a try. Let's save that so we don't have to go up there and get that item out of the thing either. No, we're definitely not soft lock. What I would do if I absolutely had to was just try that fight on the right side again until we won it and then just leave through the front door would be the thing to do instead of going back to fight the crab. Two hundred junk? Like why? Who would who would figure that out? Like just sitting there grinding till they hit the hexadecimal cap of the item, uh, so they can throw it away on something. I got to figure out these spider attack patterns too. That's not bad. It's sixty damage. Yeah, and then just let me take, like, some 180-something damage out of nowhere. What is this? What is this? Who at uh, Square Soft thought this was a good idea? It's It seems so random, too, because, like, sometimes they'll just, like, juke you really quick and kill you and then sometimes they just kind of wander around and don't do anything so forget it i'm going back i'm going to take my chances with the hallway spiders it would also help if our parasite energy recharged is that what is it now uh not much here let me let me do the old um, restore mana trick. What game was that where you would just spin around in a circle to get your MP back? Was that like Kingdom Hearts or something? Yeah, this is a massive uptick. In yeah, it's not coming back. It only recovers in battle. So screw this game, pretty much. Whatever game. And it's not enough that it like hurts you that much, it paralyzes you too. Like there's no way to avoid that. So dumb. All right, we got one of them. Okay, let's get all of our health back. 
Wait, we can just stand here and farm Parasite Eve energy. Like, why not? Yeah, we'll just get all of our energy back for preparation in the next fight. Yeah, but he works for the most well-funded police department in the entire continental United States. Surely he could just, like... Hey, we got a we got a parasite problem here in New York. Could you like send us some junk parts? Come on. I know this was before Amazon, but geez. All right, wait till he spits. Come over here. And then back up. Oh yeah, thanks. I need something with a range. How does he get to attack again? No. Ah, this game is bad. So, I get my next level in 4,000. <laughs> and I got almost nothing from that. That's great. We're probably just going to have to end up going back to the start. Oh, it does. I didn't realize that. I thought it just, okay. We don't want to lose too much. Um, okay, so this different parasite energy as well as crit and defense. Hmm. Light. So that's going to be a fast one because it says light and very durable. High defense and strong against SA. What is SA? Thanks for explaining that. Game. But obviously, I mean, whatever we've got is not protecting us against these enemy types. Heck, let's let's try this. What do we got to lose at this point? Dang, I wish we had that rocket launcher. That would make this a lot better. Apparently you do get a rocket launcher when you beat the crab, so I really, really do want that rocket launcher. Would it have killed him to put a health power up in here? Oh, and once again, it doesn't tell you. You, have, you can reload from the menu. <laughs> Junk farming. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of get the inclination to play this like Resident Evil or something, but you really can't. You do have to play it kind of like an RPG. Which it's like, that's what it says on the box. So.
Yeah, we don't want to give up our rifle, so. Really, we have to do this Donkey Kong Jr. climb down the, the rope thing? Really? According to the guide, all you have to do is stand on either side of this crab and he can hit you with his most dangerous attack. Of course, that's not going to help us with the, the stupid laser beam attack. So this, this guy recommends that you get on one side, kill the arm on the side you're on as fast as possible, and that just kind of neuters him so that you can just, like, stand there. So we're going to try to get to the side, maybe cast, like, haste, and then just unload on him. Yeah, see, we're, gonna, we're just going to go over here. Why? Why does he have to open with his worst attack every single time? Here, we're just going to haste and then pray that he doesn't kill us. <laughs> what is this? Why is this? I didn't even get to attack him. What is this game? Who designed this? Like, you have no health, so you can't just, because you've got this stupid spider walkway fight, which is like the, the matador or um, what's another legendary checkpoint boss in a, in a game. This is like, this is the Persona equivalent, I mean the Parasite Eve equivalent of the, of the matador fight in Nocturne is what this is. It's like, you think you know Parasite Eve combat? Hold on, son. Not so fast. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. It's not right. One hundred and thirty-nine damage from a completely unavoidable situation. Oh, I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> Life's too short, man. Life's too short. Come on, do your little spit attack. Once you kill one of them, the fight is really a joke. It's not bad. It's that first one that's the issue. Swap armors in battle. Which armor should I be using? I think I may just swap games in battle. How about that? Look at the range on that attack. How are you supposed to predict something like that? Shoot him, Aya. Yeah, I got like no experience or anything for that. Ruben Mike says use the fierce deity mask. Well, we want we want this battle to be doable. We don't want to break the entire game. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure I am using the best armor that I have. I, I mean, this SP protector gives me more, um, more uh, health or whatever. Heck, we'll give it a shot. Why not? What do we got to lose except more time? We may have to escape and go grind. Which I didn't want to do, but I do want this rocket launcher. Yeah, this this boss is a tool. I wish I could like beat the spiders on the bridge and go back and save, but I know they just respawn as soon as I left. I did do some checking around and I watched another video of a guy fighting the last boss and he was level 40. I think we're somewhere around 20-ish, so we may be grinding later too. Here, we're, we're just going to YOLO it, stick close to the crab. He's going to open with his stupid lasers. I know he is. Yeah, every time. Look, you just take like 200 damage to start the fight. Like, who thought that was a good idea? And then there's that attack, which does like insane damage. At least he always seems to go, um, I guess that would be counterclockwise. So yeah, we're just gonna chase, we're just gonna chase him. Come on, Aya. Yeah, just, just, like, I don't think he can do anything. Go, Aya. Go, Aya. Go, Aya, Bria. Oh, and it, it gives you low defense, too. No, what are you doing? Stop. Quit. Stop. Go. No, you... Aya, you idiot! Go, you moron! Why? It wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have to do the, the bridge fight again. Why? I'm gonna need more glasses of water. Give me all the water. I do think we had more success with the faster ATV, so I think Review Fox is on to something. This is definitely progress. I think if we can get, um, I think if we can stick over there, the key is gonna be finding a balance between shooting and not, um, and not letting him run away because if he runs away that's when you, you run into trouble i think if you can stay close to him it'll be pretty easy if we can avoid the the eye lasers at the beginning that's going to be the, the kicker is the eye lasers i still can't get over why that does so much damage look at that completely locked into place so dumb can't do anything. Couldn't move. You go that way, you get hit. You go that way, you get hit. Bad game design. <clears throat> it's trash. Yeah, and it also lowers your defense, so if he hits you again, you probably die. Complete gutter trash, as Dudley would say. Gutter trash. Maybe he's saying, is he saying gutter trash or utter trash? All right, let's switch to that lighter vest. That seemed to be the lighter vest, and we'll get the grenade gun. Okay, let's see. I 
me. <laughs> it's like you're going to take damage from one of them. You have no choice. Let me give myself one hit back. And he just instantly runs up and takes it. What is this game? That was 178 damage for standing on it? It even hit me. I just walked onto it. It's a spider web, not molten lava. What am I even doing with my life? Stupid strategy guide telling me to go to the warehouse first. This is your fault, uh, strategy guide author. I blame you for everything. It's all your fault, not my fault. Maybe I should just use melee weapons against them. That sounds like a good idea, right? Try different weapons. Or if there was like a flea command so we could just skip this fight, that would be good too. But they hadn't invented that at this point in the game. So why did it only do six damage there? 94 damage. It's outrageous. Okay, this gun's OP. Just use this one. There we go. This might actually be a good choice for the crab fight too, because it, see how quick it fires? So we can fire quickly and then run with him. So that's, that's gonna be the, the OP strat, I think. Let's make sure we start with full hail. Let's just let that run. Even with no frame rate, that's how long it takes to um, to recharge that. That's stupid. Heal 3 takes a big chunk of it too. Yeah, I'm liking this burst fire. I think this is going to be the, the strat. Because we should always be close to him when we fire anyway, so. We just wait it out so we can get some more Parasite Eve energy back. Parasite Summer's Eve energy. Also, forget inventory space from now on. Just dump everything into ATB bar. Got him. Okay. All right. So avoid the eye laser attack. If we can do that, we've got a pretty good shot. Yeah, we're just we're just thinking like galaxy brain level at this point. Okay, we're going to swap to the SP protector. Things seem to work out for us better when we had that. This is the MP5K machine gun for future reference. Alright, so we'll up up the energy on that. Um, we'll once again up the defense on our current vest. Take this useless tool, which we'll probably use later to waste on some more weapons. I think I'm probably a little bit too low level. Like you said, I breezed through a lot of the game. I guess they were expecting you to be lost more, and so you would grind and level up. But that's okay. 
we'll get through this. I've 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 beaten Fire Leo on Ultra V rated. I can handle this. Oh, my health is full. Excellent. Maybe we'll even have time to get like a barrier or a haste off or something. Okay, he always... Okay, he's going to start with the... Okay, no lasers. That's good. All right, what do we say? Um, let's haste ourselves so we can keep up with him better. Yeah, see, we're just going to... We're just going to stay on top of him. Yeah, here we go. That makes me really nervous having to stand that close to that, but whatever it is, what it is. Which way are you going, crab man? I still don't know why there's a giant crab running around a warehouse. Got hit with every single one of them. It's okay, we can heal. We can heal through it. It's okay. Every time it hits you twice, every time. I really thought that thing had died, but okay, whatever. Be cool, as Eris would say, be cool. Got it, okay. That does one arm. It literally just kept going to hit me. Is that like a guaranteed hit? What's the deal with that? That's not tournament legal. We need a bit of it. We need a little bit thicker of a weapon, I'm afraid, for this. So. <laughs> I should just use the Billy Club to beat him. Billy Club will work, right? Since he's a crab, we just had to beat the soft outer shell or whatever. I'm not a seafood guy. Oh, here comes the BS attack. Here it is. Every single time that attack will hit you twice. If that isn't the biggest bag over the head punch in the gut I've ever seen. Nine damage. Okay. Not the gun for me. <laughs> what if he really is weak to the... Uh... He really is weak to the handgun or like the billy club. Two damage. Do we have to take out the other claw? Is that what we need to do? <laughs> Every time it hits you twice. It's so broken. Wait, we can shoot the eye? Why are we not shooting the eyes? <laughs> In the words of Peppy Hare, go for the eyes! Well, I can only hit the, the body, not the...
This does like no damage to him. I'm beginning to think we're gonna have to take out that other claw. Look, there's no way to avoid it! Oh, here it is. Look, look, it'll track me. Oh, okay, I think I get it. You gotta walk, like, counterclockwise. That stops it. Okay. Maybe we're onto something here. You didn't know you were getting Parasite Eve low-level runs today, did you? You had no clue. Oops, go over here, go over here. Oh, kill me. And it lowers my defense. Great. Yeah, at the very end, you have to do like a counterclockwise like turn or something. And that keeps it off of you, I think. Come on. Bust his arm. I really think we should swap weapons back to the machine gun. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, machine gun is definitely better for taking out these arms. It does significantly less damage now, at least. Come on, die. Oh no. Yeah, see how you, you turn in like almost a counterclockwise motion and that stops it enough? <laughs> Maybe he'll run out of MP. Oh yeah. We even got our heal two back. Sweet. Of course this means he can only do the evil attack now. Oh he can still <sighs> No! So here's this giant enemy crab. K.O. You lose. Okay, the, the machine gun is definitely the, the top tier for these fights, I think. Need to stick with that. Stupid.
139 damage from something you can't even avoid. Amazing. Amaze balls. This is like the worst dungeon in this whole game. And we were so close too, but I forgot about the stupid water attack. So obviously just... It, the, the lasers wasn't even hurting us that much at the end. So I think what we need to do is just stay to his right the whole time. Like stay on his right the whole time. Um, no matter what, just blow the two... Um, Blow the two arms and then stay on his right the whole time. Genji Days of the Blade. That's the name of that game. I completely forgot. I knew that it came out, but I didn't think it did very well. So stupid that that does so much damage. There's like no rhyme or reason to it whatsoever. It just does tons of damage sometimes. To mention he could do 91 damage from just tapping you. I wonder if in the Parasite Eve movie the the protagonists had to like take turns shooting at each other like this. Come on, do the spit. Fine, I'm just gonna heal up. Save parasite energy. So these guys are kind of weak to this grenade launcher, but the crab really isn't. He's just weak to breaking the game. Stop this madness. I'm thinking you're going to have to be hasted and then you have to, you need to be kind of towards the middle of the screen is what I'm figuring out. Hasted toward the middle of the screen and you have to do like a counterclockwise motion at the very end because it's like it comes towards you and then it does like this and that's how you avoid it. I think. But yeah, we need the machine gun. And I'm pretty sure we already equipped the the lighter armor. So yeah, let's let's up our machine gun's power. Let's use our defense up. The problem is saving up enough parasite energy to cast haste and it wears off so fast. There should be like a attack buff or something that you could get, but unfortunately no such luck. Oh, for the love of God. Really? What was that? You guys over here just making up attacks. This game is like connected to the Square Enix server. It's like downloading attacks to use against me. You've got to be joking. It's just like, hey, let me start you out with one health.
Yeah, see? Okay, yeah, you have to, like, do a, a turn in a circle, and that, that avoids it. He's going to give us this side. We might as well take this side. Come on. Okay, you have time to run out here. Okay, yeah. Good. So we actually have a little bit of time to get in position to dodge that. The more dangerous attack, I think, is actually going to be this water attack. Because there's like 30,000 of them. It turns into like uh, ESP de Ra trying to dodge all of those. So we just need to come over here. 10 damage, whatever, we'll take that. See, now we got full parasite energy, so now we can actually. Uh, let's heal ourselves completely. Yeah, see, here it comes. Yep, there we go, okay. And I think the safe bet, you've got enough time to run behind the claw here. So I think we run behind the claw and we attack when he starts his attack because it can't hit us. And then that way he can't run too far away from us. So see, we'll just hide out here in the corner. Run to him. There we go. So we should do this a time or two and then we'll get eyes. Okay, here comes the eyes. Stay in the middle, turn. Yeah, there we go. Parasite Eve, any percent runs. Let's go. We figured out the strat. It's a top tier strat here. You see, guys? You just had to believe. That's all it was. Comes, come to the middle. Take both hits because we're bad. It's okay. Snuck one in on him there. I don't know how much health the arms have, but one of them should be at least getting on low health. Can't believe I let that catch me. Yes. Okay, we got one of them. <laughs> yes, please hit me with both of them. Thank you. A is like, no, I don't want that. Give me the damage. No, I thought the stupid eyelet laser was coming. Ugh. This is so bad. Why is this so bad? It's already 1018 and we were just stuck on the stupid crab boss. The good news is, since this is optional, I can't see it being any harder than this once we finish. 
we may have killed our stream with two concurrent viewers by that point, but um, hey. I ain't no dang quitter. Talking to the guy that played Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 to like 3 a.m. in the morning before he finally quit trying to beat it with all the characters. Oh, wait. I get behind both of them. Yeah. One, why does that do so much damage? That should not do 178 damage. Just to be, like, touched by that. And it's kind of a lunge, so you can't even avoid it. It's time to play what distance from the screen can that move hit. Sometimes it's all the way. Sometimes it's two feet. Sometimes it's right next to you. Just whatever the AI needs to screw you over at that given moment. Come on. Whatever. Next thing you know, hey, a shot. Slow, 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 slow. 94 damage for that. You gotta be joking. It takes like 300 hits to kill a stupid simple spider enemy. Did Eris not like this game? Did he try to play this? This game is fine. I think this is just a particularly troublesome part of it. I'm just going to speed this up for you guys' sake. Because, I mean, we're just going to have to have, like, full health here. Yeah, it's too bad he can just decide to shoot from across the room and kill you. Like, who thought this was a good idea? I'm not sure anybody at Square Enix had seen a machine gun. They have pretty long range, so... Oh, whatever. He got shot with a machine gun at point-blank range. Like, six damage. He, like, runs into me. It does, like, 130-something damage. What a joke. We're just going to have to pick up our energy back in the fight because... I think we just about got it down, though. We're just going to have to remember that he can still do the bubbles uh, in the second phase. I think I just applied that to the wrong gun. <laughs> Out of frustration, but it's okay. Since we'll probably be coming back anyway. All 
All right, let's go, stupid crab. Every single time, it stuns you in place and hits you with both of them. It's the dumbest boss in this entire game. Shoot him, Aya. Shoot him as quick as you can. You may just have to block the eye attack on reaction because if, if you get caught by that water attack, you're in dire straits. A hundred and sixty eight damage. Got one of them. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't want that. Give me the healing. I mean, we could still hit that other arm from over here, so we should just focus on being safe. I wish I had a good estimate of how many times he uses this attack. So there's one. There's two. three. So is it three times and then you get the eye laser? Eye laser is almost certainly coming up next. Yeah, there it goes. Whoa there. Developing new attacks again. All right.
Okay, yeah, so destroying the arms weakens the body. The words of Peppy Hare. Go for the eyes! So what did we decide? It was three, um... Three water attacks and then a, um... So the next one should be eye laser. We'll confirm before we go hide. Yeah, here it is. Okay, we'll heal. There we go. Nice and easy. All right, easy. Gosh, that parasite energy just recharges painfully slow. Like, give me an MP up. Like, why couldn't they have like Coca Colas for like your energy restore or something? Oh yeah, whatever game. Alright, let's go. That's one. That's two. Three. Eat two lasers. That's two. So we should get one more of these before uh, high laser. Alright, the next one is almost certainly going to be eye laser. Just get right out here so we can see where they go. Nice. Got a free got a freebie there. Crap. <laughs> almost. The main thing is just not getting hit by the lasers. I'll take the 10 damage because I can restore that pretty easy, but just cannot get hit by the laser. Two, I think one more should do it. In the words of the guards from Oblivion, why won't you die? Hey, do you have to get hit with by both of them every single time? Could you stop that, please? If this thing doesn't die soon, we're going to end up getting killed by the lasers next time. Dadgummit, A. Abria. Oh, thank God. <sighs> oh my gosh, that was terrible. 
And I know not to rest because this game will probably throw a random encounter at me and just like one shot me. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, let me heal a little bit at least. <sighs> oh. The heck was that? Why am I? Is there like a. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's a trap over there. I hate this game so much. I do. I hate this game. I absolutely hate it. It's terrible. Um, okay, I think there's like a steam thing over there, so we gotta wait till it goes away and then we go grab it go Aya do I just have to go back the way I came because then I'm just gonna get killed by the um the things on the on the conveyor belt in there. Yeah, the guide says just to leave, but like we're not gonna make it out of here with ten health because of the stupid uh, thing over there. Why does this game hate me so much? So we have no parasite energy. Uh, we're gonna have to go back, but we're just gonna get killed by the uh, the enemies. Like, who thought this was a good idea? Why is there not like a quick way out of here? And then to put a death trap in a corner that takes all your health away, knowing that you're going to have no health after this fight. This isn't looking good, guys. <laughs> We're just going to end up dying again. Unless the enemies are gone because the crab is dead, but I doubt it. Yeah, we're dead. We're just going to get one shot by the, the things in the next room. Because our health doesn't recharge. We have no energy to attack with or heal with. Yeah, if we run into enemies here, we're just going to do the fight again. Okay, maybe all the enemies are gone because we killed the boss. Please let that be the case. Let's save just in case. So we get a few shots at it in a different slot in case we get screwed. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, well, we finally beat the crab, but we may just die anyway because we have no health and there was a gas trap guarding some junk which took all our health. Oh, yeah, we're, we're screwed. We're screwed because they put the random encounters back in here. Unless I can get a shot off. Just run away, Aya. Just run away. Heal two. Let's go. Come on. Why is this game so bad? Oh, this game is trash. Just absolute trash. Like, it's horrible design decisions. Oh, 
Oh, and we loaded the wrong one. Ugh. How do I shot quick game? <laughs> yeah, this game is such, when it comes to stuff like that, this is badly designed. Well, I actually like the combat in this game. It's just the situations that they make you deal with aren't necessarily fair, and that, that's a big problem. I don't even remember what those guys in the hallway were weak against. Um, just go with the machine gun again. Go back to the SP protector with the auto heal. Like, I don't understand why you would kill the fight in the hallway with the with the, the spiders on the catwalk, but you make the player refight the one in here. It doesn't make any sense. You're not going to have any health for that. I was literally in motion running away from it. It just tracks you down. Like, who thought this was a good idea? And this isn't the first time this game has done that. The boss fight from the last chapter, you have no health and you have to fight like two mandatory encounters on the way back. Like who thought that that was a genius idea? Some moron. If we could even get like one heal off, but because you can't get parasite energy back outside of battles, um, you're just kind of borked. Unless you're like some sort of speedrunner with your RNG manipulation strat. Yeah, like, see, maybe we can heal. Just kind of had to... Like, what are you supposed to do? You don't even get a chance to get a shot off. They just kill you. Maybe I should just shoot them with a rocket launcher. Maybe it's a one-hit kill. It'll probably do like two damage because this game is poorly balanced. You just forget healing. Just go with Rambo with the rocket. Maybe it kills him. If you could just like run in a circle and, and restore your energy outside of battle, it wouldn't be near as bad, but you can't, and it is. Yeah, we're just going to shoot them. We're just going to shoot them with a rocket launcher, assuming they don't insta-kill us when we walk through the door. Just see how much damage it does. Maybe it'll kill them. Who knows? Since there's limited ammunition for it, I have to assume it's a powerful gun. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. I mean, that did a lot of damage, but it certainly wasn't a one-shot kill, which is what we need. Dadgummit, we're so close every time, and they just run up and kill you before you can attack. This is incredibly badly designed. Like, what were they thinking? In the words of James Rolfe, what were they thinking? So now this whole episode is pretty much just like Terensu versus the crab and the the two spiders in the hallway. Because this, this whole stage is just like spiders in a hallway. 
<laughs> Jaime, thanks for the five dollars. It does help. I think I'm just gonna go be a hot tub streamer because then you don't have to deal with giant enemy crabs. Oh, we got a we got the um, the wrath this time. Maybe we've got a better chance this time. I think what we need to do, since we can't take a hit at the beginning, we need to swap to an armor that gives us extremely fast ATB and Parasite energy is what we need. And just hope we can get like maybe two or three heals off. So let's see. What gives us the best PE energy? 24 that one and let's get like a swap to like a pistol right because that's gonna have a quick quick time on it what system is jet set radio future on I would have to find it God bless America, this is so stupid. It's like they reward you by trapping you in the warehouse where you can't escape. And there's just some junk in there. No, we're not soft lock. We're just going to have to get extremely lucky. Who is DSP? Is that Dark Side Phil? Why does that kill you to step on it? Why? It makes no sense that it should do that much damage. I do think the parasite energy recharges quicker while you are uh, running. So we need to be like running in a circle or something. But I don't know, sometimes the enemies kind of just react to you, and so they just kind of stand in the corner. We're going to have to figure out the RNG, RNG manipulation of this fight. Oh, we're screwed. We got the rat. Like, what is the point? If he's just going to spawn and shoot fire that kills you instantly... It's like you don't even get to play. It's like uh, Tekken 7. You just get juggled to the end of the stage and die. It's wonderful. We need the uh, Parasite Eve expert that was here. I forget the guy's name, but he seemed to know what to do. In any given situation. Oh yeah, see that only works when your HP is low, so that doesn't really help us. Uh, what else we got? Where's that rocket launcher? Uh, 
Oh, I guess you can't mess with the rocket launcher. Okay. Say so we'll mess with the RNG. We'll we'll leave and come back. I'm sure that'll do something. We would be fine were it not for the steam in that in that trap that just killed us. Like, what are you supposed to do? 133 damage off of that attack. And it's like the, the hard to avoid one. Like, you can avoid the spider webs, but the, the lunge, it just gets within 10 feet of you. Boop, you're dead. 133 damage. What were they thinking? It makes no logical sense whatsoever for that to do that much damage. It's really just a numbers game. Like if they stay away and just spit, you're good. But the moment one of them gets close, you're done for because they're just going to hit you with that um, nonsense. <laughs> I made with the, the extra three dollars. <laughs> I was looking at the donation and I got killed. Yeah, it's like you you cross that line is when the encounter happens, I think. Can I just, like, escape the encounter? Can we just, like, go and use the door? <laughs> no, we can't do that. Of course not. Maybe we use Confuse on the enemy, and the enemy um, kills the other one for us. Maybe that's the strat. You can't even attack. You can't do anything. All because of the stupid steam trap. Like why? Why would they put the steam trap in there with no way to heal? Makes no sense. I just can't get over the fact that it does 133 damage. Why? Why does it do so much damage? All we need is like two heals and we could do it, but... Oh, it's always the stupid rat. Okay, we're going to have to go back, do the crab boss fight with more health, and then come back here. That's the only way we're going to get out of this nonsense. Because the stupid, like, jump forward attack is just too fast. You should see me play Tekken 7 online when I'm not streaming if you want to see me get upset. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to... I'm trying to even remember what we were doing here. Say so we used like the rifle and then um, I'm not gonna quit. Never get anywhere in life that way.
But that's probably what's going to take. We're going to have to do this fight. It's so freaking bad. Like, why is it so bad? Like, this was a terrible design choice. Like, if any aspiring game developers are watching, don't do crap like this. Make sure the player has an out if you're going to put an optional, incredibly tough section here. Uh, definitely not more than Job. That dude had some hard times. If uh, being soft locked in Parasite Eve is the worst I've got going on in my life, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, this machine gun works much better and it's much quicker. Maybe I should be using it in the other fight. I don't know. If I can get off like three shots. Got it. Okay. Let's just wait. <laughs> yeah, me in the warehouse. Like, why is that attack variable? Like, why does sometimes it reach the entire stage and then sometimes it doesn't? It doesn't make any sense. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, let's just go over there and give him a good thwomp. This <laughs> is so bad, guys. Like, I'm sorry we had to waste this stream on this nonsense, but we're going to finish this game. That lunge attack, that stupid lunge attack. Like, why does an enemy that has a 100 plus damage attack have a lunge attack that's like an unseeable low in Tekken? Doesn't make sense. Please die. Give me a bunch of ammo that I don't need. So this time we're going to know to avoid this, this steam cloud. We won't let the steam cloud shenanigans get us. That's really like the crab and the low health was one thing, but the steam cloud shenanigans are what screwed us over. Because did you see that? Go back and watch that part of the stream. My health just like shot down when I touched that. So... Here, we're gonna put, uh, gonna take my time and do it right, so to speak. Put that there. Put that there. So I believe we need the, um, was it this one we used for the, um, for that boss because it was strong against SA, whatever that is. Like why, why did they put that poison trap over there? So dumb. All right, Mike, here's the, here's the fight you missed earlier. Hopefully we can handle it a little better. Oh, yep, there it goes, just like last time. Starts you out with the instant, like take your health to one attack. What a complete, total, absolute, 100% joke. He only does that attack when you take time to prepare for the fight. If you're prepared for the fight, he's going to open with that every time and just, like, wreck you. Makes no sense whatsoever. You better check yourself or you Shrek yourself. <laughs> so dumb. Like, I've, it's the old speedrunner cliche of I've never seen that happen before. That's the most he's done that attack in the whole, like, two hours we've been trying to beat this whole dungeon. And worst of all, I don't know if that counts as like a cycle attack before laser eyes. Does it not count? Like, what? what is that? How does that work? I 
I've had enough. I'm like Chris Redfield and Wesker's BS. I've had enough. See, we're already down one arm. You can kind of tell where the laser is going to go if you look at the eyes. Now, believe it or not, I started to make a save state last time after this fight just in case there was any shenanigans. I didn't do it. No, nope, I wanted to be a purist. I was like, no, we're going to we're going to do it old school. Oh, alas. So we can't even just like kill the crab. We have to kill the crab with enough health left to survive the aftermath fights. At least the two crabs on the catwalk aren't there. Right said Fred would be very proud. Oh, we got hit three times that time. It's a new record. What's true? But don't forget there are many guys like you all over the world. I don't even know how that works. I'm like inside the crab's hitbox. Don't get hit. Might as well go ahead and heal, because here it comes. Ten damage apiece, what a joke. Got his arm. Okay. No more grab attack. I need to look up a speed run and see what the speedrunners do for this. I'm sure there's some sort of like easy mode strat to avoid it, but please give me a break. Too bad I don't have that rocket launcher I had to lose in the save and reload. Pretty much if one of them hits you, they're both going to hit you. If you could stop taking incidental hits there, that would be great. Did you see it reverse course from where it was going to hit me? It's totally fair.
At least we only get hit by one of them. So here's this giant enemy crab. Yeah, it's it's something about waiting until they make that last turn and then you swap directions. That's the only way I've had any success dodging that. If I could just get that laser dodge down, this would be trivial. But the laser is so screwy. Like sometimes it goes right towards you and then sometimes it just kind of hangs around. I guess the, that's the trick, as Han Solo would say. Got him. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, that patience comes from dear God above, not from me. Uh, I would probably just have broken my controller by now. How do I shot? Okay. It better have actually given me that rocket launcher. Where's the rocket launcher? Tell me it didn't screw me out of the rocket launcher because my um, inventory was full. Where's the rocket launcher? Or unless that's it laying over there. Not gonna fall for the shenanigans this time though. <laughs> it's a tool, all right. It's a tool of mainland China to drive me insane. So do you seriously, like, lose the, the rocket launcher if you don't have full health there or don't have an inventory spot? So I googled it and apparently you can lose an item permanently like that if you don't have the space. So we get to do that crab boss again. <sighs> I really, really hate this game. <laughs> yeah, we get this is the third time we get to beat this. This game is so trash, man. I, I mean, it is fun. This is just a very poorly designed part of the game. Um, I stick by that. That they just did not design this very thoughtfully. If they had just made it so that. Like, I don't see why there's not like a door that leads back to the very beginning after you beat that boss. Because if you do that, boom, this whole dungeon's fine. There's not a thing wrong with it. But because they lack common sense or self-awareness or they just enjoy making people suffer, I don't know. <laughs> oh. 
Ah. It's extremely busted. If only we didn't have to do the bridge part 10,000 times. See, like, why did it only do six damage that time? Why do I only have a handgun equipped? That's pretty good damage for three shots. Why are we not using this? Oh my gosh. Oh, it only did 93 instead of like 100. Give me that heal 3. Yeah, you and Review Fox are my only donators ever. Two of the dumbest viewers I've ever had to donate to this nonsense, but it is very appreciated. It's still kind of strange to see people be willing to donate money to the stream. And when we get demonetized later for um, the Eve cutscenes, we'll still be able to continue on. Did I just, was that random? Did I just get two defense ups instead of that one? Uh, I could have swore there was a, okay. All right, let's make sure we have an inventory spot. Yes, yeah, see we got one inventory spot. We'll ditch this. So now we have two spots in our inventory. I think we just about got this crab thing down. I'm gonna be on the lookout for the, the smash and grab at the beginning, and if we can avoid that, we should be good. Oh, that does way more damage. The game is showing, showing me mercy this time. Yeah, maybe we were just making this harder on ourselves. was that? I've never even seen that attack before. I don't know what gun this is I stumbled onto, but it's like the MVP of the stream here. I wish this game did a better job of explaining like what the stats and affinities of guns meant. I think a lot of the problems here could be avoided if it did that. Because like I haven't really felt the need to use scan or any of that because it, it thus far has not helped me very much. But you know maybe if I knew like what guns did what it would.
There we go. Shoot him, eh? Yeah, see, like, when you're at that angle, I have no clue what to do. Here, let's go ahead and get full health. Full health a second ago. <laughs> Don't die despairingly. Yeah, it's such horse crap how it just tracks you. Should die relatively soon. And by that I mean I'll freaking die because I've miscounted. Ugh. This is the worst game ever made. Forget perfect soldiers, forget survival arts, forget tattoo assassins. This game is a dumpster fire. And I don't remember what that super gun I had was equipped just a minute ago. Yeah, it was this handgun. Okay. And let's see. We wanted to have the... Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, that guy was legit. He could tell us the secret strat to beat it. That's fair. If we just did like a little bit more damage, just like a little bit more. Resource management. Ayabria is a highly trained operative who can't hit a gigantic spider across the room. Oh my gosh. This game is purposefully and intentionally designed to piss you off. Yeah, don't go to this part. Just like go grind or whatever first and then come do this part. This part's exceedingly stupid. 
Just the whole soft lock thing just baffles me that they would do that that way. Back in my day, when you beat the boss, everybody knows you get a warp to the exit. That's how it works. Wait, I want the... Take them, I, uh... Probably gets SA. I know uh, Siva Gunner has some pretty cool rips from uh, the Jet Set Radio Future games. That's been the extent of my involvement with them. Oh yeah, only 142 freaking damage. There's one. Two. It hit twice! Wah! And it's not even like we can leave and come back. We're just stuck here. I, I wrote, I loaded the wrong file. Great. Maybe we do the, where's that, that fancy handgun, that fancy pants handgun with a quick reloading. Maybe we cheese it this way. He dies faster if you play his odd job. I could probably use a razor sharp bowler hat right about now. So stupid. Why? Why would you design this area this way? It's so bad. I'm going to have to do an episode of Terenzi Reviews on this game just to talk about how bad this one section is. Somebody go look up the 100% the speed run for this game and see what they do. There's got to be like a secret strat to just like make all of the attacks useless. Wait, why didn't we get an encounter? Oh, because I picked the other one again. Oh, we'll, we'll try it one more time. Even though there's no point. Fifty damage is pretty good for a handgun. Oh yeah, ain't that the truth? The easiest way is to get on eBay and find this item from the 90s called a Game Shark. Wait. Did you guys see that? What the heck just happened? Why was there not an encounter there? I mean, I'm not going to complain, obviously, but... We have the rocket launcher. Is there going to be an encounter here? If 
we make it through the door, I think we're good. Because there wasn't one in here. You see, Girls Not Blue was right. It was a very simple weakness. He said, please, and the enemies didn't spawn. That's all it took. You know, two and a half hours into the stream. So let's go back to the, the NYPD. It seems to be the safest place. Go here, save the game, all that stuff. What should be random encounters in the police station now we die? <laughs> it would be my luck. Yeah, see, we have like no health. They couldn't have given us some health. This freaking game, man. It doesn't make a lick of sense. But it's going to be okay because we made it. Now we could ostensibly go like to an, a very easy area and um, and grind there. So Mike, what you're saying is that it was your fault. All of this was your fault. Yeah, we did it, guys. We're out of the warehouse. We got the rocket launcher. There it is. We got it. We didn't even have to fight any enemies on the way back through. My question is, like, how do we get our health back? Because we still have just 10 health. Maybe dude down here can help us out. So I looked it up and these good luck charms don't do a daggum thing uh, like dude was saying. So we just need to ditch them. Also, we don't really need that at the moment. Caitlin Rula says, hey, hey yourself, how you doing? I'm <laughs> making your girl watch now. Don't drag, don't drag your lady friend into this nightmare. Okay, yeah, that just there was the MVP of the game right there, that Medicine 3 that I stashed uh, like two streams ago. So the whole game is... We did it, guys. We beat Parasite Eve. Good night, everybody. <laughs> this game is kind of a train wreck. I can kind of see why this series wasn't like the monster hit you would think it would have been. And it's because of the dumb design decisions like that. They didn't do a good job of explaining like enemy strengths and weaknesses. They didn't do a good job of like balancing some of the, I guess you would call them almost levels as far as like, hey, what should we do to make sure the player isn't soft locked here? And that could have easily been solved, like if they still wanted to make you like have an inventory system and manage items, it could have easily been solved with like a, like on a game over, like if you got the option to go back to start of area and it restored you to the state you were in. I think that would have solved all of that. It wouldn't have been a problem, but no, they decided to be cheeky. Anyway, we actually get to play the game now. 
Um, we've got the rocket launcher, which I assume is going to be, it's got to be the best weapon in the game. It's got to be. After all that. I'm skipping ahead a little bit in the guide to see where we need to go. All right, according to this, we need to go to Chinatown next. And there's some actual medicines on the ground in this place. Watch this be even harder than the other. I'm glad you like them. I had a lot of fun making those. Um, I'm excited to do Tekken 4 and to make some more Terensu posting at the beginning of it. Did you guys catch the reference at the beginning of the Tekken 3 video? That was supposed to be Kazuya's ending from Tekken 1, except it was me making a video, was the joke. I didn't accept one of his gifts once and my crops didn't grow that summer. <laughs> You're very welcome, I do it for you guys. Uh, let's see. Just go along the street in the second sight. I assume he means scene. You can find a chest with a grenade launcher and a save point on the right. Oh gosh, we still don't have any health. These cat of nine tails looking guys here. Oh, those home in, that's not good. Let's use our new grenade launcher. Forget saving it for the last balls. We're in dire straits. We need help. Oh, what do you know? That only did 41 damage as opposed to the 1,600,000 that the others do. Yeah, that was definitely like an optional area. Like it had to have been. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, we're good. I'm okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's try to go back to our rifle here, and let's uh, heal. Let's heal three. Let's just heal all the way. They do. Yeah, some guns do better damage. Like the rifle, for example, it has more range, but it's weaker. But like the handguns and stuff do more damage when they're up close, but when you fire them from afar, you're in for a disappointment. It's like a cat of nine tails on that dude. At least we should level up some here because there's lots of enemies and they aren't near as nasty as those other ones. And if we have to, we'll just use our new rocket launcher. <laughs> Forget saving it for the last boss. We don't need no stinking last boss. Learn Gene Heal. Use Parasite Energy to recover HP. We'll take it. Yay, this game is fun again. We're going to dump all of that into our active time bar. Go along the street in the second scene. You can find a chest with an M92 grenade launcher on the left side and save point on the right. Now reach the last side of this place. Check this crap out. There we go.
If that's another charm to take up my inventory, it's this guy. Reach the two items around the statue, then drop to the sewer. Yeah, like I wanted to play it without the like nitty gritty min max stuff the first time through and just kind of suffer through it like as if I were playing it as a kid for the first time. But a gun guide would definitely make this easier. If I ever decide that I hate myself enough to do New Game Plus, I may uh, do that. Oh boy, bats. Oh crap, what the frick? Oh, oh gosh, oh no, what's going on? Oh <laughs> look at that, I have like no hit range now. This game just keeps on giving, guys. Ow. Good to know that that attack won't hit at close range. Of course, neither will mine. Whoever came up with some of the content in this game? Who thought blind was a good idea and they just give like three enemies that instantaneously use attacks? Please, come on. Aya, please. There we go. I suppose that's Cure Dark is probably what that stands for, so that's good. Well, that was fast. Look at that. Like some of this stuff isn't even hard. It's just that area previously was so badly designed. I was, yeah, I looked up the charms after the stream the other night, and apparently people have, like, delved into the game's code to try to find, like, the secret, the secret meaning to the charms, and there's, like, none. How did that miss? That one didn't. All those Cure Darks I picked up just disappeared from my inventory.
trash. Maybe having three of those in an encounter was a bit much. Like I could see the challenge in two, but it's more so just annoying with three. This area is supposed to be like a pseudo maze, but it's just looking at the map, it's really not. Cure D. I'm not going to believe this. Please, no. Don't tell me there was a back way out of that area. I hope there was, just because I hate myself. Dadgummit, Aya, could you not... You don't need to throw popcorn and punch a mailman when you lose Takuma. <laughs> Who punched a mailman? I looked it up and the battle designer for this game was the director for Super Mario RPG. I could see that because this game was made just not too terribly long after that game came out. And they're both Square Enix, Squaresoft, so yeah, both RPGs. Imagine that this game had a battle system like Mario RPG. Was that low tier god who punched a mailman? I'm not saying he did, it just sounds like something he might do. <laughs> yeah, give me all the cure D. Cure D. What is that? That's a medicine. So we actually will get this. This should be a medicine according to the map. Yeah, we'll take, we need that medicine. Okay, now we just go straight down until we get to the, um, the exit. Of course, we gotta fight like 30 bats first, but hey. Oh, at least it's not the bats. Or only one bat, rather. Bat's got to go first. The lunge attacks are the worst thing in this game. Because you can kind of like learn to read the special like projectiles, but the lunges are just the worst and they're so quick. TikTok is such a dumpster fire, man. Like, I, I realize I'm just being old and crotchety, but the stuff I see on there does not impress me. I think the kids had an easier time fighting a trans-dimensional clown being than I did um, fighting that crab earlier. I'm legit going to look up the speed run for this game and see what they do.
It just went right through me. Bogus collision. <laughs> Can we put this in there? Of course not. Ooh, a CR protector. Not bad. Do I have a favorite MK Ninja? Yeah, Smoke, hands down. And you're welcome. I'm not sure how much date night entertainment I am, but uh, during the days of COVID, I guess uh, you take what you can get. Okay, what was that we just picked up? It was a, uh, it was that vest. So we need to keep going south. And there should be a medicine three on this next screen. After we fight the obligatory enemies, of course. the frog are we really out of ammo Thanks for canceling that reload animation, dude. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, me and Riven might go back a ways. So he... I'm not surprised he knew who my favorite MK Ninja was. He also used to hang out with us back in the days uh, when MK9 was the latest NetherRealm fighter and me and Blastoise used to, to do tag team matches and it was always me and it was, I was Smoke and he was Cyrax every single time. Kind of bloody down here for a sewer, guys. This is Club Three. Oh, whatever, I couldn't escape. Riven Mike and his use of Johnny Cage got caged. This is
just in case. Uh, so it's a bunch of sludge. It's going down a pipe. A has got her gun. Um, it's a giant ball of human waste. Um, it's coming towards us. Aya says she has to get the slime out of the reservoir before it infects the whole city, but I don't know how she's going to do that. So, uh... Ammunition. Let's save before we do that because we're probably going to end up in an encounter with Ye Old Eve. Uh, we're going to need a bigger cure poison. <laughs> Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Yeah, meanwhile in Ghostbusters too. Uh, what? How do you miss something like that? I mean, I just don't... Something healed me, I'm not sure what. Two plus ranges. I 
Uh, range, the death of everything in this game. Uh, that I'm not sure of. I haven't paid attention to, to it to see. I thought I had to come back down here, but apparently it was optional. Yeah, those weren't dangerous at all. I should have just come down here to begin with. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't get in a hurry. She just kind of takes things at her own pace. So that's like the landing in Kakariko Village. When you walk on those stairs, you go into this room. You don't get a choice. So there must be another area beyond here that I missed. Oh, duh. There's a door in the corner. I got you. Headshot. No one's asking you to, are ya? Says I'm supposed to run past this drain, but it's not letting me go through there. Just need to drain it again. So you turn the pumps off to get the water out of the sewer. That makes perfect sense. Complete and total. Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm, I'm a big breakfast cereal guy, or I used to be. Uh, now that I've grown up, I don't care for them as much because they're all just so sugary sweet. But I was very much a Fruit Loops guy growing up. Uh, now I really like chocolate frosted mini wheats. Those are pretty good. What else do I like? Lucky Charms are pretty good if you just want some sugar. Get the sugar rush going. Something tells me there's a boss fight at Bruin. Watch me be hit by the train like in Silent Hill 3 if you stand on the train track. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Oh no, it's a mole. 
He hit me with that unseeable low. That was fair. How can we be out of bullets? What is this game? Yeah, Fruity Pebbles and Marshmallows is just too much. I can't handle it. some bullets Where was that really good handgun we had? Okay. And to think, some of you guys said I should quit. It's a centipede in my Parasite Eve. You don't say. Ow. Why don't I have no health? I hate it when they do that. All right, we got like a head, a tail. Try to kill the head and the tail first because it can poison you. Yeah, let's do that. That's not annoying at all. Got one. This is pretty much just turning into pick a corner and shoot. Here, we'll, we'll heal just to be safe. Because we don't know what this thing's going to do. It shouldn't be able to poison us anymore is the good news. There we go. Well, that was one of the dumbest bosses in the entire game. Oh, look at all the stuff we got. Uh, All 
All right, that should be good. But the main thing is we want that gun. Uh, generally, the, the the enemy that loses all its HP first is going to be the one that's destroyed. That's how it works. Got that nice knockoff Mortal Kombat movie music there for a second, too. Let's make sure we got health because it's very likely that there will be an encounter here. You guys think he's going to be okay? No, but I'm not if I don't get a bigger inventory. Insert disc two. That looks to be a good stopping point for tonight because we've hit 1206. I do regret that the majority of the stream was spent uh, fighting that stupid crab, but uh, maybe the real Parasite Eve part three was the friends that we made along the way. Gosh, what an annoying part of the game that was. Uh, and just by briefly scrolling down through here, um, we're almost to day six, which is, of course, the last one. I didn't realize the actor that played Jax was dead. I didn't realize that. That's very sad. Yeah, apparently day six is just kind of a boss fight thing. So what we'll do is next week we'll just start with um we'll just start with this two and we'll go from there. Who knows? Uh, I'd say we'll finish next week, but I thought we would this week, and I think we would legit would have had we not got soft locked. Uh, for like the better part of an hour and a half but that's just how it goes when you play a game that you don't know that's the fun of it but um thanks everybody for stopping by thanks for donations and subs for those of you that uh, gave them if you're not a member of the discord do check out the Trinsu and pals discord um, we just have discussions about games in there admiral mcfish is in there so you can chat with him and you can provide suggestions on what we play next We'll be back next Monday with hopefully the end of Parasite Eve. Um, but um, never say never because we saw what happened tonight. So you guys take care. I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Stay safe, guys. Be healthy.